What is up everybody? Jesse Walker here. Thanks again for dropping by my channel. Do me a favor, if you do like this video, please, please, please click the like button down there below. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel because I put out new content all the time. I don't want you guys to miss anything. Now today we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is the 80s movies life lessons. And this life lesson right here for us guys who are 40 is from Better Off Dead, which I know all of us remember this because, you know, you have like the, the super hot French exchange student that knows how to fix, you know, 68 Camaros. I mean, where do you find that? It, it, it's, it's pretty cool, right? Now, so what is the life lesson we get from the movie? We get that life lesson from, I call this guy Booger, and I call him Booger because he was Booger in Revenge of the Nerds. But, I mean, you may, may remember him from In Risky Business. He's the guy that says, sometimes you just got to say what the fuck, right? Remember that? Classic line as well. His real name is Curtis Armstrong. And in Revenge of the Nerds, he plays Charles Damar. And so he's on top of the mountain. You know, they're about to, they're about to ski the K-12, which is like this deadly ski slope. And John Cusack's up there, and he's basically like, you know, what do I do, what do I do? And he says, go that way really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. Mind blown, right? Mind blown. What does that tell us? It's very similar to when people say if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results and you're insane. It's, it's very similar to that but not exactly the same. Really what it's saying is you've got to take life head on. You've got to go and fix things the second you know they need to be fixed. You've got to do it fast. you got to do it fast because you do not have time to waste. We are mortal. You do not have time to waste. You're going really fast and you see an obstacle. You've got a couple of choices. Now, you can try to crash through that obstacle or you can navigate that obstacle. And when you navigate that obstacle, it may mean going around it, going over it, maybe knocking the obstacle out of the way using some sort of tactical ability you have. But the point is, you don't let that obstacle stop you. See, when Lane was skiing down that mountain, he's got to go really fast. And he's got to turn, he has to navigate those obstacles and keep on going fast if he has a hope of number one, surviving, and number two, winning. Same thing for you. When you're going down that hill really, really fast, you've got to navigate those obstacles because you don't have the option of crashing and getting stuck on that obstacle. Even though on my channel I'm mostly speaking about fitness and health, and this does apply to fitness and health, this applies to everything in life altogether. But just for your fitness and health goals, think about it this way. Maybe all of your life you've been able to eat what you want, go to the gym occasionally, and still not get fat, or still not get sick, or still not get weak. But what happens as you get older? As you get older, things change. So now your obstacle is, well now I'm older, I'm starting to gain some weight, I'm starting to get weaker, I'm starting to get sick. What are you gonna do? You're gonna turn. You can't keep going the same way you were going before. You gotta turn. So you go really fast, something gets in your way, turn. I mean, it's, it's magic. He's like a freaking genius, right? He says the most simple things, but they are incredibly profound. You know what's funny? There's also a second lesson in this movie. And this is a lesson in perseverance. Do you remember the $2 kid? $2! That kid was, he was like a rabid dog. I mean, he would not let go of that $2 for anything. And I'm thinking, you know, this kid's putting skis on his bike. He's skiing down the K-12, chasing Lane to get two friggin' dollars. He goes out and he gets all of his boys rounded up, chases laying around in the middle of the night to get two friggin' dollars. Now, that is a lesson in perseverance right there. So, that's just another lesson from that movie that's really good. But remember, go that way, really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. Yeah, another way this really applies to fitness. Maybe you're working out really hard and you hurt your rotator cuff. All right, and this happens, which I'm telling you guys, especially when you're over 40, you really need to make sure you're warming up your shoulders, warming up your arms, warming up your body before you start lifting the way you were lifting when you were 20 years old. But that's key. So but let's say you do get a rotator cuff injury. All right, so you're going that way really fast. Then something gets in your way, the rotator cuff injury. What you do next is important. 
do you say, oh, I got my rotator cuff injured. I can't do anything. That's a crash. Or you say, my rotator cuff is injured. What can I still do while my rotator cuff is healing? Navigation. You see that? You navigated around the obstacle. Because now you're keeping your body going. Your body's still in the mode. I'm a healthy person. I'm still working out. I'm still going down that hill super fast. And then as soon as your shoulder is ready to work out again, you can throw that back into the mix. But until then, there are many other body parts that you can work and even aerobic activity that you can do while you're waiting for that injury to go away. All right, so I'll keep repeating it. Go away really fast. Something gets in your way, turn. A lot of us stop. A lot of us stop. Something happens and we just stop. So I'm going to tell you to stop doing that. Don't let things get in your way. If you've got a goal, if you're trying to make it somewhere, if you're trying to accomplish things, if you're trying to make it to the end of your life as well as you possibly can, you cannot let things stop you. Go away really fast. Something gets in your way. All right, but anyway, that's all I got for my 80s movie today. Any questions about that, please throw them in the comments. And by the way, if you have your own 80s movies that apply to life now, please be sure to share them down in the comments so I can put them into a later video. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.